Next up, I want to talk about this new uh, the story came out last week, and I am actually just really stoked on this. I this to me is actually one of the most interesting things about Tesla is that they are not at all just a car company, and the whole vision is to switch the world over to sustainable forms of energy. Transportation is a big part of that, but the core of the transportation, the sustainable version that Tesla makes, is or are these batteries. Now, because the core of that is batteries, they have so many more applications. Obviously, we have home power walls and everything like that. So here we have some more news coming out. And this is the California Public Utilities Commission on Thursday approved four energy storage projects from for PG&E to replace retiring gas generators, including two batteries that would be the largest in the world. The CPUC granted approval for a total of 567 megawatts, which is uh, 2,270 megawatt hours of storage. That's over two gigawatt hours of storage, including a 300 megawatt, in, which is a 1200 megawatt hour project from Vistra Energy, Vistra Energy, and a 182.5 megawatt, which comes out to 730 megawatt hour project from Tesla that the utility would own. So PG&E will actually own that uh, part of the system. Now, those batteries, once completed, would be the two largest in service. So the, uh, the, the uh, Vistra one would be 1200 megawatt hours and the Tesla one would be 730 that is a big difference um, and in fact if you want to just compare that I did a video a while ago about Puerto Rico when te when you know they kind of had uh, the, the hurricanes really mess everything up there and in it I did some analysis on kind of like what it would take to uh, to, to rebuild it with a hundred percent solar and batteries which doesn't actually make sense you can see here like you know there's wind and all kinds of other stuff you can use but I just did some really basic analysis on it and um, I'll put a link to this in the description you can go check it out so the megawatt hours these are the energy storage projects from Tesla currently this Puerto Rico one was the the hypothetical uh, this one doesn't exist, but it was just kind of to give you scale. Um, so the Tau American Samoa, which is a, 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 an island, has a six megawatt hour system, which I think uh, gives it 100%. Kauai, um, which is an island in Hawaii, has a 52 megawatt hour system, which is massive and really helped them switch off of the diesels. The one in South Australia, is it South Australia or Southern Australia? Apologies to anyone in Australia. I always get that wrong. Um, that one is 129 megawatt hours, which I believe is currently the largest lithium ion one in the world uh and then you have uh this these two which would be uh, the one from tesla being 730 megawatt hours and then the one from vistra being uh 1.2 gigawatt hours essentially so a massive improvement i mean a huge like the whole project being over two gigawatts is is a ginormous step forward here um and with that you know would re significantly help california reach its goals of uh, of renewable and of switching to to, to renewable energy uh, in in the the very soon uh, future here. So, curious what you guys think about this. I love these kind of things. I actually want to go tour some. I've been trying to get in. There's uh, one a giant solar plant out there in the desert, um, out, outside of uh, Los Angeles. If you guys know anyone there, I'd love to have a look at this because while the cars are sexy and cool and fun and you know all the good stuff, I think that you know on the grander scale, these are the things that that really at least get me excited about what I do which is to try to bring people together and get them excited about these things. So a uh, little bit of a Russian doll there for you. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about that. And yeah, if anyone has a contact over at the, uh, any of those giant solar farms, let me know. I, I'd love to come check it out. Um, I, I think it'd be a blast just to see it in person and then, you know, share that story with all you guys here on the channel. So um, talk to you then, I guess. All right.